G'day everyone, it's Rob the Axeman here from Axeman's Family Fishing and Adventures. If you'd seen my last video, we caught some great Australian salmon and you'll see it here. It's all been cleaned, deboned and the skin taken off. And what we're going to be doing today is turning that into an amazing Thai fish cake. And these things are absolutely beautiful. My family, we had some last night, loved it. So what we're going to do today is show you how we made them. Now the recipe for what, you, what you're going to need to make these Thai fish cakes is you need one kilo of Australian salmon cut into one centimetre cubes, six tablespoons of red curry paste, two tablespoons of coriander leaves, two tablespoons of fish sauce, or you can substitute that with soy sauce, two tablespoons of lime juice, two eggs, three quarters of a cup of rice flour, 12 green beans, we can substitute that for spring onions, three teaspoons of brown ginger, three teaspoons of chili flakes, if you like that extra kick. So what we've got to do is, um, firstly we've got to cut up all that fish into one centimetre cube. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but we'll do that. The best way of that is to get your fillet knife. Now, the Australian salmon's quite a chunky, sort of flaky fish anyway. So if you just run it along, you're, you'll find the lateral line there and that is the best way. And you can see that it's, it's already sort of flaking off into sort of chunks itself anyway. So it's pretty easy just to cut that up into little pieces, just like that. And I don't have a food processor, but um, if you've got a food processor, it'll make the, um, the process a lot easier. I've just got the little bar mix thing over here, which we'll, um, we'll use to make it into like a bit of a paste once we start putting it all together. But uh, if you've got a food processor, I recommend using that. It will make it a lot easier. If you can see how easy this is to uh, turn it into little chunks. It's a good fish for this, um, these fish cakes. It's a nice chunky, flaky fish. And just remember, when you catch the fish, you need to bleed them straight away. A lot of people say, oh, Australian salmon, horrible fish. Horrible fish if you don't bleed it, but if you bleed it straight away, you won't have a problem at all. Fantastic. So that's pretty much it. That didn't take long at all for a kilo of uh, Australian salmon to be chopped up into little pieces. So we've got that on there. All right, so we've got to put in some coriander, which is just two tablespoons roughly. I'm just gonna take the ends off of that. Use the fillet knife again, it's all going in together. Just a little bit more. Don't like coriander? No, I don't. I'm making these for my wife. Um, just leave it out. Could throw something else in. I sort of contemplated throwing in some corn, maybe. A little bit of colour, a bit of sweetness. Last night I left the coriander out. That's why I'm making an extra batch for my wife today. Couple of tablespoons of the fish sauce. And you press the ring. Couple of tablespoons of lime juice. Just using the bottled stuff here today, just to make it nice and quick. Get it 
extra. A couple of eggs. Teaspoons of the ground ginger, and about three of the chili flakes. My flakes are nice and hot. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to grind it all up, make it into a, a pretty about a sausage mix type of consistency. So, it's going to take a bit of time. Okay, so I've given that a bit of a mix up now. So I'm about halfway there. So I'm just going to add in the curry paste. So I've got about six teaspoons of this. So, sorry, tablespoons. So it's going to give it a nice flavour. Likes it hot, and we'll keep on going. This gives a really nice colour as well. Okay, so all we need to do now is add uh, our rice flour. Add in there. And some of our green beans. Chop up some of those. Take some of the ends off. I'm not going to put as many in as we thought. Just cut them into small chunks. That a good mix. Stir in the flour and the beans. Stir it up. start cooking. I've got the barbecue on over there so we'll start doing that and see how they come out. Okay so when I'm cooking these on the barbecue I've got it down really low. Like any fish they cook relatively quickly all right so you've got to keep checking them because they will burn all right so cook it down on the lowest heat possible. Um, I like to use the ice cream scoop um, I just think it's you get about the right size. Basically, you're making like a burger, all right? I like to use peanut oil when I'm cooking these just to give them that little bit extra flavor, all right? So I generally chuck that onto the, uh, the hot plate. A little drizzle, not too much. I'm not trying to deep fry them or anything like that. Get a bit on your, on your spatula so you can 
flip them nice and easy. And when you push them down, they won't stick. Spray, spray that with the oil as well. Get a good dollop on there, like so. Throw them down. I'm only going to make a couple. Uh, my wife wants me to freeze a couple for her for, for lunch during the week. So just give them a little press down. That can already hear them sizzling. They smell fantastic. Just about ready to plate these up and I'll show you how it's come up. Alright, so there we go. Finishing touches. A little bit of sour cream. And a little bit of sweet chilli sauce. Nothing better. There you go. So these are your Thai fish cakes made from Australian salmon. Guys, don't look at them as a rubbish fish. Fantastic. Family love it. Mrs. loves it. Get on board. See you out there fishing soon. Alright guys, so I'm just going to make up a few quick ones for my wife. She likes uh, to have them during the week for lunch. So this is how I just get an egg ring, like that. The glad wrap. Stick it over the top. Get that ice cream scoop. Pack it into there. A good load in there, like that. Doesn't matter if it doesn't get into the ring. Get as much in as you can, fold it over, push it into the ring, like that, over the top, push it in, fold it all over, squish it all down, there you go, whack it into the freezer, like that, pile them up, you've got some for whenever you need them, nice and easy. Catch you later.